Alright, so y'all read the title. Y'all read the title. What a way to start off 2022. This came out some of my days ago as it's at 3.3 million views. This is by Penguin Zero. So this is by 14 minutes long. Let's get right to it. What better way to kick off the new year like looking backwards to the magical year of 2021? Let's take you back to the past to talk about a man who loved ass and cupcakes. I'm talking about EDP 445. For those that don't 13 year old cupcakes at that. If you catch my drift, you see 445, 4 plus 4 <laughs> equals 8 plus the 5 equals 13. Remember, EDP445 was a massive YouTuber who in early 2021 got caught by a group of predator hunters for trying to have sex with a child. He got Chris Hansen and then recorded at the scene of the crime where he they said the person who was like, uh, is supposed to be like Chris Hansen, come to find out he's extremely racist. Extremely racist. So they're both down horrendous. Defended himself by saying he wasn't actually there to fuck a child. He was just there for some cupcakes and that kind of became his entire legacy He's like the cupcake demon mm -hmm. kind of like how the boogeyman was invented to scare kids into eating Like my thing is I'm sorry. I'm pausing the video so much If you're gonna get cupcake, why are you getting it from a 14 year old let alone having a whole full-blown conversation but 14 year old you like in your 20s somewhere in your 20s. I don't know how old this man is and this girl, she's like 13 or 14 years old. This I go to our house just to buy a cupcake. And we mean by cupcake. I know exactly what you mean by cupcake. You is not slim. And they're vegetables. EDP is that cryptid, but for cupcakes. Like, hey, you better finish that cupcake. Your grandmother worked hard on it. If you don't, EDP is going to climb through your window tonight and talk to you about the eagles or some shit. So his whole thing window, now though. is he's been disgraced and banned everywhere on the internet. And I can't even begin to tell you the entire lore. This was probably one of the wildest stories I've ever actually seen in real time on YouTube. It, it, it just had so many twists and turns. There was a fucking crazy chapter in this whole thing where EDP sent a picture of his poop in a toilet to the kid. Oh, I remember he, that. He like I said, I that. ate a greasy pizza and took a fat shit and then dropped oh, a picture I'm, of his um, shit in the toilet. Bro, if y'all haven't seen that picture, y'all are so lucky. I remember seeing that picture. Oh my God, I was so traumatized, bro. I was so traumatized. Oh, that picture just came back in my head. You just had to remind me of that picture, didn't you? Jesus Christ. Toilet bowl to them. Uh, uh, it, was a, it was a nutty ride. But anyway, since then, it's been radio silence for about eight months. No one's really known what's happened to him. There's been tons of rumors, of course, that would start like he's in jail or, mm -hmm. you know, he's running for governor now or he went to space and now he's a space pedophile. You know, it's all kinds of things with no evidence. Imagine? And last night on stream, uh, chat made me aware of a new video that had an update with accurate information and a breakdown of the EDP story and where he is today. So I watched it last night on stream. That's twitch.tv slash moist critical. I stream every day. I'd love to see you there. I'll put the link in the description. Just please come on swing. Pretty soon. I'm going to start um, live streaming on Twitch too. Once I start, you know. But I'm probably streaming right now. So I'll go ahead and play that for you now. And then now, I'm going to go over a bit more afterwards because I've done a little more research this morning on the situation. But just be aware that in the clips here, last night was New Year's. So there's a lot of fireworks going off in the background. So that's that banging that you keep hearing. Mm -hmm. Chat kept thinking I was kicking my desk, which confuses me because it's not like my desk is made out of nitroglycerin. It's not going to make like that kind of massive bang. So yeah, just a quick heads up there. The EDP 445 video we're watching comes from YouTuber SunnyV2 who did a great job of researching the topic and getting all of the information out there. Okay, let's check on the EDP situation. Apparently he got arrested yeah. and went to jail, but this would uh -oh. be the first I've heard of that. So, let's see. EDP 445 has been fired from three different jobs over the last couple of weeks as a Jesus. result of people exposing his employment to TikTok. He's a what? Wait, really? Hold on, I didn't get a chance to read that Reddit thread. Did oh, he actually try? <laughs> Did he actually try and work at Chuck E. Cheese? He tried apply for There's Chuck no E. Chance. Cheese. Again, for those that don't know, EDP was the YouTuber who got exposed for being a, a pedophile or oh, whatever, talking God. to kids and shit. 
he's most known for like the the fist bump he tried to get from hide the, your kids the or hide your wives, catchers, especially as well as saying he was just there for a cupcake. Even though there's like tons and tons of DMs of him confirming he was going to go there to try and fuck a kid. And then apparently now he he's been fired three times, and one of the places was Chuck E. Cheese. I don't. I genuinely don't believe that from a few yeah. different properties and he's now living out of a suitcase in a couple of unconventional crappy locations. He had like 3 million However, subs. How is he out of money? In the EDP 445 got taken Did he give it all to a 13 year old or something? One of his former mm -mm. YouTube 445 got was caught in 4K on his way to pick up a cupcake. The topic was covered by almost everyone in the commentary community. I'm sure by now many of you Hey, let's go! The EDP 445 situation. Oh, we're in it. Who supported him in the past such as some ordinary gamers. Would let's go! We did that on stream. Needs to be arrested that was a wild Why stream. Why has EDP been dropping hard? Because EDP is an individual that actually got Chris oh, I mean, I remember and after him. it was removed, his banning EDP was exactly 30 years old. I like how it's being called the cupcake event. He was 19 years old. Oh, oh, no. years old. So the 179 million views deleted in the process Oof. meant that his entire portfolio of work completed in his 20s, 10 plus years worth of labor was wiped out quite literally overnight. One mistake was all it took for YouTube to decide that EDP 44. It wasn't one mistake though, right? Mm -hmm. As he mentioned, there was a history of mistakes, but this was the biggest. Work completed in the Charlie from 24 Hours in the Future, I decided to look into the other cases because, as mentioned in the video, there was a lot of previous allegations, even before this one, of EDP engaging with minors in an inappropriate manner. So I looked into all of those, and for about a full year, a lot of evidence was surfacing that EDP kept flirting with and trying to hook up with underage fans. Ah. But somehow, for all of 2020, it all kind of flew under the radar and wasn't made a big deal. And it's not because he did a good job of defending himself. Like, his defense wasn't bulletproof or anything. He's no Saul Goodman. Mm -hmm. When it was brought to light a few times during live streams, all he said was, a bunch of no life, no pussy getting motherfuckers kept pretending to be girls and my dumb ass fell for it. And that's it. Like that, that's how he brushed it off. He basically just confirmed like, yep, I, I've, I've been talking to people I believed were underage girls. And then that was it. That, that's where it stopped. So I'm surprised it wasn't a bigger deal before this investigation, but this was definitely the most thorough with the most evidence and actually going there in person and catching him in 4K. But I'm just shocked that it took this long with all of these allegations out there. So as mentioned in the video, it was not just this one mistake. He had an entire history of doing this kind of shit. Yo account was deleted, another income stream had gone up in smoke. EDP445 then attempted to switch to Facebook. However, after gaining 6,000 followers- Yeah, he so that was real? That was really his was page? The same story over on Instagram. His someone told us, well, not someone, a bunch of people told us he made a Facebook page <laughs> after the cupcake event. And I didn't believe it because when you went to the Facebook page, like one of the only things there was like, <laughs> what was it again? It was- I opened my ear with that joint. It, we watched the video. It was some like really goofy video. I think it was even just talking about football or something. And then he casually mentioned he wasn't a pedophile while talking about football. He's like, yeah, the Eagles are going to go all the way this year. Not a pedophile. Yeah, I just really have a whole lot of faith in the, in the Eagles. Or they're going to fly. I thought for sure that was like a joke Facebook page, but I guess it's real. Yeah, no, that was uh, after Cupcake event. So in the EDP timeline, there's BC, which is before Cupcake, and then AC after Cupcake, and this was AC with the Facebook page. It really seemed fake, but I guess not. He planned on making his own website to which he would continue posting. That was real too? EDP 445 announced over what? on Facebook that he will be making his grand return to the internet with his own website no. to return to his old video. Man, EDP445.com. Yeah, that was a fail. Um, it's coming soon. Been, been about like a week, maybe two No weeks fucking way. That was. Uh, again, just. So we've been we've been in this in this lore for a minute, playing in the playing in the pig pin with all this this exposition here in real time. The the website I also was told was previous clips from older videos where he mentioned wanting to start a website. This was not after the cupcake tragedy. Ooh. But I I guess that was inaccurate. So he really, after getting banned everywhere, tried to make the EDP website. I don't know what the fuck would be on there besides like, I don't know, baking recipes or some shit and then talking about the Eagles. Yeah. But man, my God, I guess all of that was real. And I was making fun of people who told me about it saying like, you're too gullible. <laughs> no, I'm the idiot. Oh yeah. I guess he could post shit pictures on his website too, which is cool. Kind of like a new modern day rape my poo. If anyone remembers that from the early internet.
Rip My Poo was kind of lit. It was just this community project where a bunch of people would take pictures of their shit in the toilet bowl, and then you'd have a star system and oh give it a one God. out of ten. And then you'd get to the next piece of poop. It was pretty cool. Oh, God. I was big back in the Gears of War day. People would often, like, back. disguise the Rate My Poo link as something else and send it to people in the community to get them to rate shit pics. In spite of how much Don't of a stun like ADP 445 tree was, you have to give him credit for sheer determination. Because he'd then begin to upload videos on another third party website what the called fuck? Speak TV, where his account would be met with the same fate. It was banned. What is he wrote, speak? For some reason, my channel was deleted. I don't have a clue what's going on. I didn't violate any guideline. Can you please tell me what's going on? EDP. That just sounds like some kind of student server. Like a university project. From each and every Five's Lift profile. Bro went from wanting cupcakes to driving for Lyft. And his position. God damn, man. Oh, Why? God. Like, even after all of this, he is still taking these pictures. This this looks like a predator. Why? Just yes. take a normal fucking picture. Yes. Driving for Lyft. And his position as a driver would subsequently be removed by the company. The situation would promote Reddit discussion, with one post stating, EDP as a Lyft driver, how the mighty have fallen, which received commenting to a very basic unconfirmed source. EDP also apparently applied a Chuck E. Cheese. Okay, so that is definitely a lie. Didn't seem to get the position. EDP 445 no So that was definitely a fucking lie. Make money online or in. The strange part about this is that when you try and search oh, the court register from the Reddit post reaction. by typing Typing in his what name, in Bryant Morland. It now states that there are no results found, possibly indicating that EDP 445's name change has been successful and he's no longer. Oh my god. Morland. As you can see, I he could be anywhere now. Morland Bryant. Submit. No results. He could be anyone. The problem with this, as outlined by the EDP 445 subreddit, imagine he just changed his exactly name to like spot. This idiot, Borlin Myrant. He will be spotted everywhere, no matter. Him. Const constant harassment. The property owner has been getting. Since then, EDP has been living out of a suitcase at various hotels. However, even then, his detractors have been going around trying to get him kicked out of wherever he happens. How are they finding him? Everyone in here. <laughs> what? I will be more than happy that they're not. Thank you very much. It's like when Shia LaBeouf put a flag in the middle, middle of Bumblefuck nowhere and people on 4chan found it using star constellations and airplane routes. They're finding EDP in his suitcase across the, the country. A, a global game of Where's Waldo. They're passing out flyers and shit. Oh my god. Less than a month ago, on the 3rd of December 2021, he'd upload a video titled, Is EDP 445 in Jail? In this video, Felipe explained that while out having dinner, he'd get a call from a private number, stating that it was EDP 445, who was being held at the Henderson, Nevada Detention Center. So the third time I picked up, um, I was like, you know, hello? And what? I said, uh, yes, because I was like, you know, I was just curious to see, like, holy shit, like, he got arrested, like, like, Wow, you know? The issue is the only evidence that he's able to provide is for no caller ID calls on his iPhone, which isn't exactly rock solid evidence to say the least, and Felipe's Injury character is suspect guy. at best. He only gets views when he talks about EDP 445, and without EDP on the internet to defend himself, anyone can say anything. Additionally, True. EDP did Good successfully point. change where Henderson is, Kern County, which is where Bakersfield is, and Manatee County, which is where Bradenton, Florida is, which said that he was connected to online. No Bryant Moreland is in any of those prisons. In the end, it doesn't really that was pretty fucking interesting jesus yeah i think there's a zero percent chance he's in jail for what it's worth uh almost every single time when there's like a vigilante predator hunter that exposes a predator the law yeah so basically if um if somebody was not like chris hansen or i mean chris hansen or a professional that's exposing a predator Nine out of ten times, EDP is probably not going to jail. I mean, his career is over. He might end up homeless, depending on what kind of plan he got to make sure he don't end up homeless. But nine out of ten times, he might not even go to jail because the cops are probably not even taking this serious. To be honest, the police is not taking this serious, probably. But his career is most definitely over. And he pretty much deserved it. Pretty much. Cause he's one nasty individual. But uh hope you guys enjoyed the video. If y'all did, 
Make sure you like the video and subscribe if you're new. I'm out, y'all.